What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install Geyser MC on your Apex panel. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft tutorials. One of the main struggles you may come across when playing Minecraft is the inability to play Minecraft with your friends from a different version of the game. By default, the Bedrock and Java versions of the game are not playable together. Mojang has not yet developed the functionality for this in the game. Luckily, there are some great solutions by simply installing and configuring a few plugins. With Geyser and Floodgate, you'll be able to accept Bedrock connections with your Java server. Geyser is what makes the connection work, while Floodgate allows for the user to log in without having a Java Minecraft account. To install Geyser and Floodgate, you're first going to need to head to geysermc.org. You'll find both of the files here, and the first step we're going to do is finding Geyser first. So right when you get there, you can see at the top it says download on the middle of the page there. Go ahead and click on that. Once this page loads up, you're going to go ahead and click on the geyser-spigot jar file, and you're going to start that download. It'll start automatically. From here, you're going to want to go back to that same first page and click on the Floodgate section. Then you're going to scroll down where it says Floodgate and click on the blue Floodgate button right here. Next, you're going to click on the blue Download button, which is right there. And from there, you're going to see the Floodgate-Bucket Jar file. You're going to click on that so that that initializes that download as well. From here, you'll be heading to your Apex panel, and what you're first going to do is click on the red stop button to stop your server. From here, you're going to scroll down until you see the jar file field, and click the search bar and type in paper, and go to the latest version of paper, which is 1.16.5. Then click change version, then click create a new world. And normally I would say click restart now, but since we're about to do something else, you can click I'll restart later. From here, you're going to head into your FTP file access. Then you're going to fill in your control panel password in the allotted slot. And if you happen to have your panel password already in there, then you only have to click login. From here, you're going to scroll down till you find the plugins list. Click on it, and then you're going to click on the Upload button on the left-hand side of your panel there. From here, go ahead and find your downloads, which we just did, which was the Geyser and the Floodgate. And once you find those, you're going to click and drag into the Drop Files here to Upload section. After a few seconds, it'll completely finish installing, and you'll be able to tell by the 100% under both plugins. From here, you're going to go to the top of the panel there where you see your name and click on that to get back to the main page of your panel. Finally, click on the green start button to get your server started back up and working properly with Geyser. From here, there's just a couple more configuration things that we need to handle before we can get your server up and running properly. First and foremost, you need to click the red stop button to stop your server. So head back into your FTP file access section and log back in. From here, you're going to scroll down until you find the plugins folder once again and click on that. Next, you're going to find the geyser spigot folder and click on that. Then you will scroll down until you see the config.yml file and click the edit button. From there, you need to locate the first section, which is bedrock. And the thing that we're gonna be looking at first is changing the address to the server's IP, your server's IP. So what we're gonna need to do is open up another tab and open up our panel once more. And down at the bottom, you can see there is a server IP address with the port and one without the port. We're gonna copy the IP. And from here, you're gonna go back into the other tab and replace 0.0.0.0 with your IP address. The next section we'll be taking a look at is the port number area. And this can be any number between 19,000 through 19,999. Just select something random as long as it's between those and you'll be good. 
Now, you're going to scroll down a little bit farther to the remote section, and you're going to go back to your other tab and copy the five numbers for the port on your IP address. So highlight that and copy it or write it down. Then you're going to head back and change the port section into that. Right under the previous setting for the port, you should see the authentication type and just directly below that is auth type colon online. And what you're going to do is replace the word online with floodgate. So go ahead and backspace on that until it's gone and then type in floodgate. And finally, for this, you're going to save. There is one more thing that we need to do, but that is in a different folder. Once that's done saving, Go ahead and go back up to where it says browse near the top. Scroll back down to your plugin section and click on the floodgate dash bucket when you see it. From there, you're going to select the public dash key dot pem file and hit move, which is up at the top. Once that's loaded up, you're going to change the target directory from what it currently is to geyser dash spigot. This will make the plugin finally work. So go ahead and click submit once you're typed it all out. Then you'll see the console work its magic. And from there, you can go back up back to where your main page of the panel is by clicking on your name once more. And from here, you're going to want to restart it one more time, just to make sure that everything is working properly. And then you'll be all squared away. After following all these steps, you should see a successful enabling of Geyser in your console on startup. Be sure you give the IP and port that you configure to any players that use the Bedrock version of the game. Your Java Edition players can still use the same IP address. To keep up with Geyser, you can check out the website that we used this tutorial. That'll do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.